All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Friday, the 30th day of August, 2013. Um, <laughs> these are the results. Well, let's go over the results from today. All right. Let's start with the results from today. We ended up plus 7 ticks on soybeans, plus 4 ticks on the Russell, plus 15 ticks on crude oil, minus 3 ticks on gold, and minus 8 ticks on copper. All right. Today it took us 10 minutes and 2 trades to get to $107.50 a contract. And we had 22 trades in all today. All right, that's a lot of trades. Anyway, we had on the month, the monthly total, this is a new CFRN high of $7,210 a contract. That's, that's significant. Um, 72.10 is the gross. The net number is $4,850 a contract. If you apply an 8 tick turn, I mean 8 tick, an $8 uh, per turn, commission to all 295 trades we took this month. Um, the net would be $4,850 a contract. Now you guys should not be paying 8 bucks a turn. All right. Let's say you're paying 7 bucks a turn or 6 bucks a turn. Just take this 295, multiply it times whatever the difference is between the 8 and what you actually pay. Add that onto the net. And that's what you would add. That is the live trading room. Those are the live trading room results for um, for the month of August. All right. Yay! I don't have a bell. Um. Anyway, anyway, let's see. Let's go over the trades now. Okay. I'm gonna grab. Which one do we have the most in crude oil? It looks like we have the most trades in crude. So let's just cover the crude. If you have not taken a free trial with us, go to www.cfrn dot net forward slash apply sign up for the free trial in the free trial you get five luxurious business days in our live trading room um, in the live trading room you get access to everything you see here you get access to all the indicators you get access you know you get to watch me put the trades on take the trades off all that sort of stuff manage trades um, I talk about the trades as I put them on if you're in the live trading room you're being treated as though you are a partner all right you get everything except um, everything except access to the members area and access to the uh, the weekly partners meetings. <laughs> That's what you don't get access to. Members area weekly partners meetings. Otherwise, you treat it like a partner for you know for those five luxurious business days. Um, so if you do take the trial with us, I mean really take the trial, download the indicators, do the whole thing. All right? Do the whole thing. If on the other hand you um, you have taken the trial with us and you want to become a partner, you're interested in becoming a partner, then send us a quick email at support at cfrn.net, support at cfrn.net, and we will send out to you um, all the information you need to become a partner. Okay. If you are currently on the free trial and you don't know what it takes to become a partner and you want to know what it takes to become a partner, again, send us an email and we will uh, we'll give you all the information you need. All right. So. Moving on with the trades. The very first trade of the morning here was one that I missed right here on crude oil. There was a long trade from right in here. That would have given the two points had I taken the trade, but I missed it. I grabbed the second trade right here. I took seven ticks profit on this trade, all right, on crude. And that seven ticks is what put us over the mark, I think, isn't it? Um, yeah, that seven ticks right there on crude is what put us over the two-point mark. I had already taken the soybean trade, and I got three ticks profit on that. Um, <clears throat> There was a follow-up trade right here, a long trade on the up close off the BBC right here. It didn't make it through this level. I had pointed out this level here because we weren't going to take any more trades in that direction if we didn't get a close up above there. Um, let's see, was there a shorting opportunity? No, there wasn't really any shorting opportunity at all on there. It changed directions and we had this big run up here. Now there was a long opportunity on the run up right in there. All right, I missed all that. I missed the whole thing. It happened really fast, and by the time it was done, and I had got to see it, by the time I got to see it, it was done. Um, but it ran right up, and it gave it all back. Okay, you see where it started? It started right over here, and it gave all that back, and more. Um, when it was given it back, you know, the opportunities were there, so we started taking advantage of them. We shorted in here, we took a little bit of profit. We shorted again in here, took a little bit of profit. We went long in here. Now, this long trade stopped us out. We lost eight ticks on that. Shorted again here, took some more profit, shorted here, got a break even on that one. Went long here, 
my long trades just were not working out today. You see, I went, I went long here and stopped out. I went long here, got a break even. I went long here and I stopped out. And I believe that was where we ended our trading on the crude oil for the morning. But you can see, look at these moves down right here. And where could you have traded that? Well, the first spot would have been right here is where you would have shorted that. All right. Um, moving sideways. Over here now, you could have started getting long. Long in there. I have to put in a higher swing. You could have gotten a long right in here. Um, nothing anymore after that. All right. So you had two opportunities on this move up to get into there. Anyway, we ended crude oil with plus 15 ticks today, and we took a bunch of trades on it. Um, the Russell, let's see, where do we end the Russell? Plus 4 ticks. We traded, I mean, we, we placed a lot of trades today, so even on the Russell here, we traded a few times. Okay, our very first trade on the Russell was right in here. We missed that. We missed a follow-up trade right here. Um, we took a short trade right in here. We got stopped out for minus 8 ticks. Then we got in over here. On down close below this trend line, I think we took four ticks profit on that, something like that. And then we took another one right here. We got a break even on, and we took another one over here. I think we took, I don't remember how many ticks profit we took, but this is what got us to positive. I think we took seven ticks profit or something like that on that thing. Um, we missed a bunch in here, as you can see. We missed this long trade right here, which would have given us some more profit. This one, which would have stopped us out. This one, which would have given profit. And this one, which would have given profit. Um, as the morning went on, we're approaching the weekly trading zone in here, I think. Didn't I take another trade down here? I thought I had taken another trade. Anyway, um, right over here, there was a long trade that we missed right in here. Okay, Probably two long trades that we missed. Not one, just one long trade that we missed from right in here. Would have been from 16.2, it drew down to 15.7, so it drew down five ticks. And moved all the way up there to 17.5 for 130 tick gain potential. Um, <laughs> all right, and that was it. That's all we did on the Russell. Okay, the Russell currently right now the Russell is setting up a short trade for those of you guys who are still watching this. This is the pre-holiday trading. Everything's slowing down now. It does have a valid short trade right here from 12.2 on the Russell. Okay, um, and did I? I don't remember what I left you with on the crude oil. On crude, there was a long trade in here on crude from 767, it looks like. All right, next is the gold. Now, gold was gold was a little difficult today because we started out down two trades on gold. All right, we missed the first, the first couple of things in here. Right here, we missed this opportunity right here. Okay, on the long side, which worked out really well. Um, we missed this one right in here, which didn't work out at all. And then we took this one, which stopped us out. All right, so we're minus eight ticks on gold right there. We missed this nice trade right here, which would have given us everything back and then some. Um, we missed this one, which would have been a break-even trade for me. We took this, which gave us some profit. Um, that brought us to, I don't know, we we're still negative. I think we got three ticks profit on that. Okay, due to the hob Labor Day holiday, this is just for everybody. Uh, CME interest rates in Forex products and the ICE dollar index will close at 3.15 p.m. Central Time. The ICE Mini Russell will close at 4.15 p.m. Central. Okay. Um, anyway, right in here, we have a down close that went down here to this level, right in here. We took a little bit of profit on that. We missed this one. We grabbed a break even on this trade. We then stopped out again over here. Okay, so between this stop out, this little gain, that break even, and this stop out, I believe we were at minus 14 ticks at that point. Then we had another break even trade right in here. We had a nice win on this one. I believe we gained 11 ticks on that or something like that. Um, and that was that was it. That was all the trading we did on gold this morning. All right. So we ended up. Wait a minute. We ended up with plus three or minus three on gold. Minus three on gold. Ooh. Wait a minute. I got to change my results. No. Oh, no. Okay. I had it right. Minus three on gold. Okay. I don't have to change any results. That's 
That's right. Okay, so that 11 tick gain right over here, I thought that was an 11 tick gain. We were minus 14. I remember being minus 14, and then we got an 11 tick gain. Put us at minus 3. Whew. Gosh. See that? I get all worried if the results that I give you guys aren't accurate. Um, all right, that was all the trading we did in the morning. But there have been some nice moves here on this on this down this down move right here. All right, right in here there was a sh shorting opportunity. The first shorting opportunity was right here on the down close below the trend line. So you caught it right there, and there was another one right here, and another one right here. There were two of them right in there. And so those were the opportunities on this big move down. Now, a lot of times we'll tell you guys, we'll tell the guys that are in the trial or in the partners meeting, I mean, that are in the partners, that are partners. Um, this period between 11.30, when the European markets close, and it's just the U.S. markets that are open, and 12 where we take a break, there's usually a lot of opportunity in there. And today was no different, no exception. All right, but that's gold. Um, on gold, we ended up minus three ticks today. Okay, soybeans. Let's do soybeans. We did trade soybeans today. Now, I had drawn in all these areas for the soybeans to go to, and when I had drawn them in, we were we were over here in this trade right here, all right, or in this area right here. When I had drawn in all these areas for the soybeans, um, we actually may have even been. Yeah, I think that's where we were. This was the first trade on the beans we took. It was an up close above the trend line. We took three ticks profit on that. Um, there was another short trade over here. We took four ticks profit on that. There was a trade here we took a break even on. Those were our soybean trades for the day. But if you look at what the soybeans have done, now I drew, when price was up here, over here doing this, I drew the upside here, and I think there's one more I drew on, on top of that. Um, and then I drew all these downside areas. And you can see it's hit almost every area that I drew. It hit this one on the upside, and then it came down. Hit this one on the downside, hit this one on the downside, and this one, and this one. It hit them all. Um, where were the opportunities to trade that? Well, I shorted here, I shorted here. There was nothing in here. This was what was happening at the end of the, at the, end of the uh, live trading room. It was setting up in here, and I was walking through how to uh, use a sell stop order. Um, on the down close of this bar right here. But I said I didn't like the trade and I was not going to put it on because I didn't like the way that the cycle was moving up with the green line. Um, that would have stopped you out had you taken that trade. All right. Then it turned around and it started moving down. There was a shorting opportunity right here and another one right here. Okay, on the way down. So right there and right there would have been the spots to short that on the way down. Now it's turned around and gone long. Um, a long opportunity would have been right here. That would have been a break-even trade. And now that it's put in a higher swing, you could have gone long again just a minute ago right here at 54 and a quarter. Okay, right there. Now this 54 and a quarter should make it up here to 57. That's what it should do. We'll see what it actually does do. But that's what it should do. Now if we go back and look at the other trades that I had pointed out for you the crude oil trade I said uh, 107.67 that's now gone up to 107.72 for a five tick gain um, oops the Russell I believe we had said look for a down close or that down close right there at 112.2 was a short that dropped down here to the swing low at 10.11.7 uh, for another five tick gain and gold. I don't think we left you with anything on gold, did we? Because we just didn't. <laughs> but uh, the soybeans, there they go. All right. The soybeans should make it up here to 57 right now. Okay. There they go. Just about up there. Um, and let's see. Copper. We traded copper this morning. We had one losing trade on copper. We were in this thing forever over here. We shorted the down close below this trend line. And it seemed like we were in it forever. And it finally stopped us out about a half an hour after we entered it. Oh, okay, 15 minutes after we entered it. But it seemed like a half an hour. Um, and that was it. That was all the trading we did. The ES had some opportunity this morning, but it was really messy. 
You know, there was a shorting opportunity right in here. I gave about a point, point and a half. I would have had my stop at break even and stopped out at break even. Gave another one right here. I would have had my stop at break even and stopped out at break even. And then it's just been a really choppy mess. Not really a lot to go on there. Okay. That was the ES. Um, and there is 57 on the soybeans. You see it right there. Ding, ding, ding. Where's that bell when I need it? Um, and you guys want to see why I said that? There it is. There it is. I knew there was a bell in there somewhere. Let's see, the entry, I had said the entry was right here, but the entry was actually one bar lower at 53.75. I was eyeballing my trend line. Um, 53.75 was the spot to enter. You know, 54 and a quarter. There were two ticks off the entry that I gave, but it went up to 57. The green line is up into the cycle right now, so you should anticipate it's going to pull back again. All right. That is it. And that, my friends, is where we're going to wrap up the month of August. Um, let me shut the recording off. Um, again, if you have not taken a free trial with us, go to www.cfrn.net forward slash apply. Sign up for the free trial. If you are on the free trial... And if you came into the free trial based on the webinar that we did earlier this week, um, you guys should be getting something in your email probably today with information, what it takes to become a partner. All right. That is it. We are going to wrap up, and we'll catch you all um, well, Tuesday. <laughs>